Recently, a huge truck showed up at my house to deliver a huge machine. I am super excited for this one, so let's check it out. My name is Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. Light Object just sent me their Ranger 3 CO2 laser. I was so excited that I'd be getting this that I literally got rid of all of my other CO2 lasers, well, the two that I had, because this one is gonna be amazing. Everything showed up in good working order and it was all stacked up like on a half crate, just like this. In the first box, there was a new blower and in the second box was a chiller. I set those aside and it's time to get this bad boy open. I unwrapped the plastic and cut the straps off the crate. Then it was time to start prying this crate apart. I got the lid off and set that aside and then started breaking apart the sides as well. Once the sides came off, you can see everything inside was very securely wrapped up even more. I cut the plastic and pulled all of the foam off around the laser, and it was finally time to see this thing in person, and I gotta tell you, this thing is gorgeous. Now that I have it unboxed, let's check out some of the features of the Ranger 3. The standard version that I have here comes with a 65 watt tube, I believe, and it's hiding right here behind this top panel. The water and air lines are really easy to get right here on the back panel of this machine. It has a three inch ventilation attachment and that panel can also be easily removed for maintenance. On the side of the machine, you can drop this panel right here down to reveal the power supply. Again, very easily accessible if you ever have to work on it. On the other side, you'll find an ammeter that is very simple to read. To be fair though, I'd rather see this on the front or the top of the machine. If you take down the panel that the ammeter is actually attached to, you'll find the water and air connections along with very easy access to your water flow sensor. The panel above gives you access to the linear rails and the mirror for the moving gantry. On the opposite side of the Ranger 3, you'll notice about the same panels that can be removed. Actually, the lower one has a network jack if you ever wanna plug this in and use this on your network as well. The top panel has more access to your cable chain, the gantry, and stuff like that. And behind the bottom panel, you'll find access to the control board and the electrical system. Now for the fun part, let's open this thing up. The top opens nice and big and is actually attached by two hydraulic shocks. The front folds down for even more access to that build area and that's held up by very powerful magnets and has a cable on it so it doesn't just fall down when you lower it. Packed inside the laser was an air pump so that you can use the onboard air assist, a ventilation hose, silicone tubing for the chiller, the air tubing needed for the air assist, a power cable, hose claps, some stickers, a bag that had some zip ties in it and a network cable in it, a USB cable, and last but not least, a tool to get the lens out if you ever need to change it. When you're using any CO2 laser, you actually have to water cool the laser tube. Most people do that with distilled water and a water pump using a five gallon bucket. I actually opted for the Light Object Q600 chiller. It has active cooling with refrigerant, which is pretty dang awesome, and a very strong water pump to keep the water circulating through the tube. It's actually perfect for the Ranger 3. I'll do another video on this later, but I did want to point out that that's what I would be using and that's what I had them send me. So at this point in the unboxing, I had to get this thing from the floor to the bench that I'd be using it on. So I asked my friend Matt to come over and help me lift it up. And it was pretty easy for two of us to do this, but I would not suggest trying this by yourself. This thing is actually pretty heavy. Once it was on the rack, I had to plug in the silicone hose that goes to the inlet and the outlet of the chiller. These actually went on pretty tight and I don't think they're gonna go anywhere, but I did end up getting hose clamps after I filmed this and put them on there too. I then plugged the air hose into the air inlet in the back of the machine, attached the ventilation hose and then tightened down the included hose clamp. And from there, I was ready to power up the laser. I plugged the power cord in and flipped the main power switch. And don't worry, I didn't forget to peel the plastic off that brand new Trosen touchscreen. Next, I plugged in the USB cable that was supplied into the machine. And then on the other side, I plugged it into my laptop. I pulled that emergency stop button as it was pushed in for shipping. And then I pressed the power button to fire this baby up. At this point, I was super excited as all the lights came onto the machine and that beautiful touchscreen controller came to life. This machine really looks so good. I can't wait to start burning some sweet projects on this machine. So stay tuned for more videos on the Light Object Ranger 3. And if you wanna see another awesome laser I just unboxed, check out this video right here.